Hello, my name is Eve Doyle. I am a jewellery designer and goldsmith whose work is currently on display in the Inform exhibition in Collins Park's NMI. And today I'm going to show you a little demo on kumbu. Kumbu is a Korean, an ancient Korean technique of surface decoration on silver. So I am going to show you how I can fuse really finely rolled 24 karat gold to the surface of sterling silver. Natural piece for our sample today. Then I have just quickly formed up a little dome in sterling silver as well, and giving it a bit of an emery. And then we have this 3D triangle which I outlined of this triangle. So those are the three pieces that we're going to work on today. And this I have bought pre-rolled. So this is 24 karat gold, which has been rolled down to, I'm going to say a tin foil thick layer. So it's very fine. People can make their own kombu. You can see it's just torn there, that little corner. That's how thin it is. You can tear it with your hands. And it's so thin, in fact, that you can cut it with a scissors, which is what I'm going to do today. So it's really super thin. You can actually hear it. You can create your own kombu um, 24 karat gold. So a lot of people would roll it down from an ingot and some people roll it a little bit thicker than this. So it has more of a textural effect. Artists like Emer Conyard would be among those that would use it a, as a thicker um, layer of metal to give it more of a raised textural feel. So. For this piece here, I'm just going to cut a few slightly asymmetric strands of 24 karat gold. And I'll probably trim those in half again. For the circle, I'm going to cut some squarish pieces. more of those. And then this last one. So I want a triangle for this guy. So I'm just going to line him up as best I can there. And I'm actually going to use scalpel to trim out what I want. So I'm just going to push that down and use the scalpel along the edge here. And hopefully this will give me a nice line. Now sometimes it just clips the corners, but we'll do our best. Can't even cut this out a bit wide and then trim it back, which I think is what I'm going to do in this instance because the blade is just catching the gold too much. Yeah. So trim that back. The next stage with these pieces is to raise the fine silver in the sterling silver. So sterling silver is made up of 925 parts pure silver and then the rest of the thousand, so the 75 parts that are left are other alloys such as copper. So in order to have a really clean surface, 
that the gold will fuse to, you need to raise the fineness. So that means that you're raising a layer of pure silver to the very top of each of these pieces. And that's going to allow you to fuse the 24 carat to the silver and it'll be bonded uh, pretty much for all time then. It's not going to it's not going to peel away or anything or wear away like a plating. So here we go. So using a really fluffy flame for this. So So now that I've raised the fine silver, you'll see that the silver has a really white look to it. So that's pure silver that's raised to the top. And on a microscopic level, it's like fine little hairs of silver sitting up from that surface. So that's going to help as well with the kumbu. When you burnish it on, the hairs are going to kind of hold the gold in place as well. So it's fusing to those as well. Anyhow, so the next step is to heat the piece of silver gently. So I'm going to heat it up and then you, once you get it to a certain temperature, the gold that you have will actually kind of tack in place and then you swiftly burnish it down. So And I'm using an agate burnisher for this. It's great because it doesn't scratch the surface and it keeps a high polish even when it's been heated. Whereas the steel burnishers, unfortunately, go a bit matte. So that's the first piece on. So now for our dome piece. So we're heating it up nice and evenly and with a gentle flame. So it's not going to get super hot, but just the right temperature for the gold to stick to the surface. That right to me now. Move that away. So I'm just applying heat around this so that it gets to the center, but I don't want that gold to curl away. So because it's a larger piece of gold, it's just going to take me a little bit longer to fuse it to the surface. 
And obviously the time I'm spending doing this is time that the metal is cooling down. So just coming back in every once in a while, bringing it back up to temperature and continuing on. That's the first one on. I go for a smaller, almost rectangular piece next. You can see how it becomes shiny as it fuses to the surface and is burnished down. You just notice that corner there lifting slightly. Let's burnish that one down as well. Another square piece to go on. A big one. So I'll put it down to the corner here. from the other side. You can see it's not really fusing very well. So, here we go. On. Come around this side this time. Get a bit small, please. Take this guy on.
the small piece to go on next. Keeping the desk nice and warm. And placing. the pieces finished so you've got your one side of gold triangle you have your dome with its square like pieces on it and the light is catching that really beautifully and then you have the textured piece so the textured piece has a bit of burnishing on it as well just to show the texture in relief alongside the 24 karat gold combo. There you go. So that's our demo for the day. I hope you really enjoyed this demo. And now for a couple of honourable mentions from the Inform exhibition. In Jodie White's work, you'll see that she's used the combo to create this wonderful pattern and she's oxidised the silver to create a lovely contrast between the two. So where the sterling silver, the white of it against the 24 karat gold is a little bit more subtle. The oxidization creates a black background. So that gold really pops. So you'll see it creates an incredible effect. And with Anna Marie's pieces, she used the kumbu to highlight the beautiful textural pattern that runs across her brooches.